Hi guys, Dr. Pascal here with Spinal Health Distributors, and today we're talking about the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser. So the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser serves two functions. One, to reduce anterior head translation, and two, to increase the cervical lordosis. So I often send this neck exerciser home with my patients that get cervical dental rolls. Okay? The Prolordotic Neck Exerciser has three levels of resistance. So red, which is the easy pull, blue, which is medium resistance, and then green, which is the heavy or hard resistance. Okay? So we're going to teach you guys, we're going to have our patient demonstrate here how to use the Prolordotic Neck Exerciser. So the first thing you want to note is when she grabs it, her palms are pronated, so palms are facing the ground. We always teach our patient to lock out the Neck Exerciser to the side and then bring the arms forward. Right? Now, as her arms here are parallel to the ground, this would target the mid-neck. So a loss of cervical curve on x-ray in the mid-neck. If I wanted her to target the lower neck, I would have her drop her arms below parallel. Alternately, if I wanted the upper neck, I would have her raise her arms above parallel. Okay? So those are the three different positions. You can relax. Now we're going to add the neck movement. The neck movement was going to combine skull extension and posterior head translation. So we'll have our patient lock out the prolordotic neck exerciser and we're going to pretend that she's got a loss of her mid neck curve so then she's going to tilt her skull to the sky and then retract her head at the same time and we have the patient hold this for 10 seconds 8, 9, 10 and then relax and then we have them build until they can get to 30 repetitions daily so I always have them start with 10 repetitions of 10 seconds and add 5 repetitions until they can get to 30 total daily now, one of the most common mistakes that people make when they do this is they end up leaning backwards. So they do thoracic extension more than tilting their head back. So let's show you an example of a bad repetition. So the patient wants to bring their head back and they start leaning back with their shoulders and they end up extending the thoracic spine and compressing the lumbar spine. You can relax. So we discourage our patient from doing this and we try to have them do it again. Now if they cannot manage to do the exercise properly without extending the thoracic spine, we take an exercise block or a yoga block and we have them do it against the wall so that they absolutely cannot lean backwards. And then we have the patient perform the exercise the exact same way, right? So they extend the skull and drive the head back, eight, nine, 10 and relax. Now the difference being with the shoulders blocked, the patient cannot extend through the thoracic spine. Contraindications include things like fractures, instability, infections, or if this worsens the patient's symptoms. If you have any questions about the prolordotic neck exerciser, feel free to give us a call.